Hey guys, how's it going? Tua Cruz here. And today behind me, we've got the 2020 BMC Road Machine X. And I'm really excited. I've been really wanting to have a closer look at this bike, but there weren't really many videos of it online. We finally got this bad boy in stock. For anyone who's new to the channel, I work for the BMC distributor here in Japan. So in today's video, we're gonna be introducing the new Road Machine X, going over all of the components. It's actually a continuation of the same model from last year. There aren't any changes, but there still aren't many videos about this bike online. So I thought I'd make a quick little review video. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started and have a first look at the bike. So for starters, we should actually mention this is an aluminum bike. So this is part of the BMC's road machine lineup. The whole road machine lineup had a complete change on the carbon end this year. The aluminum end has stayed the same and it's actually quite a few differences between the carbon frame and the aluminum bike. One of the first being is the aluminum bike actually comes with a one by setup. So this comes stock with the SRAM rival one by front setup. And another big difference with the aluminum version is the rounded seat post here on the back. So all of the carbon versions have a D-shaped seat post. This one sticks with the traditional round seat post. As for the gearing on this bike, this one comes with a 40 tooth front and the rear cassette is 11 to 42 sprockets. There's a couple other cool extra mounts on here that aren't on the carbon version as well. So if you look closely inside here, let's see if we can get the camera to focus a little better. So there we go, we got some internal bolts here that we can use to mount some either fenders or a little rack. And there's some extra bolts here on the back side of the rear triangle as well. So going on to the wheels and tires of this bike, these are stocked with the WTB. These are 34s, I believe. Yep, here we go. These are the Exposure 34C tires. So this bike's clearance is actually about to 34. I don't think you can go any more than this. So if we're looking up from a top angle here, we can see that we're getting pretty close to the walls there. And you can see actually there's an indent in the frame where the tire comes in. So that helps get the extra clearance. The carbon road machine was actually upgraded this year to a clearance of about 33. So this one does have a little bit more clearance, but if you do add a fender on here, I think you only get up to about 32 clearance on here. So keep that in mind if you are going to be adding a fender set on here. As for the seat post, we've got our normal markers so you can see where you are. And this is a normal 27.2 seat post with 15 millimeter offset. And the saddle, we've got a Cell Royale 2075 saddle. Let's make our way up to the front of the frame. We've got our normal bottle cage bolts here and here as well. For the front derailleur mount, there is an option so you can mount a front derailleur here if you want. Right now it's just got the guide here for the single front setup. And on the down tube here you can see we've got this stealth look so we can see the BMC letters here on the down tube. There's a couple other light highlighted accents that you can see here on the top tube as well. Nothing that really stands out too well but if you look at it the right way you see the sun catching it the right way. Those lines will stand out a bit more. Next let's have a look at the front end, the front fork so you can see We've got the sleek part down here in the bottom, and then it gets a little bit beefier up here, a bit more comfort and support up there, up at the top end. This also uses a through axle system. The wheels here are Mavic wheels, so Mavic hubs, Mavic rims. Let's take a look at the bike from the front end. You can see here we've also got the light stealth BMC logo up in the front. And as for cables, we're going to have the three cables. We have the two brake cables, of course, and then we have the one rear shifter cable. So the front fork one's gonna be routed in here. There's no internal routing for the fork. That's fine by me. And then the other two cables are routed onto here into the frame. And of course, on the other side, we've got this other hole option available for you to route it down to the bottom and go up into the front derailleur if you wanted to add that to your setup. For the handlebar setup, we've got a normal BMC stem up front and BMC handlebars and our SRAM rival shifters. So I haven't personally ridden these tires yet before, but these look really comfortable for like city riding. We've got a nice smooth tread in the center. And then we've also got some light grip on the sides as well for when you're going on corners and stuff. And probably good for some light gravel as well, but you could easily put on some regular cyclocross tires or some more hardcore gravel tires on here if you wanted to. Plenty of space up in the front. And lastly, for anyone who's interested in what the bottom of the frame looks like and what the routing looks like, here's a quick peek. So we can see we've got the two holes here for the two cables to be coming through and routed down here. All right, guys, that's going to end our first look at the Road Machine X. But as you can see here, we're at the Tokyo show for the new 2020 model bikes here for BMC. So if you haven't seen the full tour video for our show, go ahead and check it out. 
And as you can see, I'm actually working here in Tokyo for the new 2020 model year show. And I made a full video for the full tour of all the bikes that we got here. So if you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it up above. Before we go though, I need to get your guys' opinion. So we're trying to figure out what bike we're gonna do for my wife for her next bike. And right now we're thinking of two candidates. One is the Road Machine X that we just looked at. And the other one is this ALR here. So she really likes the red color. She really wants a red bike. So this is a really good option here. We've got the BMC red aluminum road bike with rim brakes. This one is only about 1,800 yen, so about $1,800. The Road Machine X is about a grand more, so 2,800 yen. And that one, of course, is the disc brake with the round seat post. And this one, the main difference is this is rim brake 105 with the D-shaped seat post. So let me know what you guys think down below. Which bike should my wife, Tung Chun, get? Should she get the ALR red or should she get the Road Machine X black? Let me know down in the comments. And I got to get going, got to get back to work. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos about cycling, life in Japan. And of course, if you're interested in seeing another BMC bike review, let me know down in the comments, which bike would you like me to review and why? And I'll be sure to make a review video for any requests that you guys have. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time here on Tubo Cruise.